No tomorrow. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is episode 34 of our 365 day daily devotional. This is the daily devotional by Sarah Young. It's called Jesus Calling. Y'all, it is fantastic. I'm telling you, every single day is something different and it's almost like it reaches out and grabs you like it it gets your attention and um i don't know you can relate to this book so much and i'm telling you god just just used it so much in my life in the last couple months it's just been awesome so i hope that you will join us for this um if you have missed any of the episodes i'll have those linked in the description box and if you're wondering why i'm doing a daily devotional instead of my diys i'll have some videos in the description box to get you guys caught back up today all right, guys, let's jump in. Okay, number 34. So let me give you guys the verses for today. I like to give you the verses. That way you can maybe take a screenshot or jot down just the um, chapter and the verse. And then that way you can kind of look at them throughout the day or, you know, maybe see how God uses these throughout your day. Okay, and I wanted to tell you guys something else. So when we started the devotional, we just went like one, two, three, four, five, six. So, so when we got to the end of January, obviously the numbers did not match up. So what I did personally, just so that I could keep up with where we were. So if you're following along, you might want to do this also. I just took a little marker and wrote at the very top, like obviously it bled through, but 32, 33, 34, 35, like that. So that way we could keep up one through 365. Because I only upload Monday through Friday, so it's five videos a week. Um, so that way we can, we can keep up. I hope that made sense. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so if you are following along, we are on episode 34, and that would actually be February the 3rd in your book. Yeah. All right. I am with you and for you. You face nothing alone. Nothing. When you feel anxious, know that you are focusing on the invisible world and leaving me out of the picture. The remedy is simple. Fix your eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Verbalize your trust in me, the living one who sees you always. I will get you safely through this day and all your days, but you can find me only in the present. Each day is a precious gift from my Father. How ridiculous to grasp for future gifts when today is set before you. Receive today's gift gratefully, unwrapping it tenderly and delving into its depths. As you savor this gift, you find me. Mm. That is good. Never alone. You are never alone. You face nothing alone. Nothing. Ain't that something? All right, let's do the verses. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 31. Mm, I love that one. That is so good. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Mm. So she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are a God of seeing, for she said, Have I not even here in the wilderness looked upon him who sees me and lived? Or have I here also seen the future purposes of designs of him who sees me? Therefore, the well was called. Mm. Hang on. 
Therefore, the well was called Ber Laha Roy. I have no idea if I just said that right. Oh, sorry. Ber Laha Roy. Never, never, never in my life have I heard that before. But anyways, this is from the um, Amplified, ver the AMP. So that's the Amplified version of the, the Bible. So that's probably why it's worded a little differently. But anyways, um, a well to the living one who sees me. Genesis 16, 13 through 14. That is so good. I am with you and for you. If God is for us, who can be against us? I know that letting go of anxiety and depression and worrisome thoughts and especially being a mother or father, being a parent in general, you you just, you have constant worry. I mean, that's just part of being a parent, I think. But, you know, I place a hedge of protection around my children every day. Every day before they leave for school, I ask the Lord to place the hedge of protection around them. And then I don't think about it the rest of the day. I'm not worried about them. I'm not scared for them. Because I know God's got them. Why would I pray it if I don't believe it? You know what I mean? If I'm going to pray, God, I pray that you place a hedge of protection around my children and keep them safe and happy and healthy today. Then that's exactly what I think he's going to do. He's going to keep them safe and happy and healthy. Just go to God with everything. He's always there. He already knows the troubles you have. He knows what's in your mind all the time. He just wants you to ask for help. All right, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with me today and y'all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.